Good morning. On today's lesson, I'll cover transformation, reflection on slant lines. The previous videos, I have shown you the reflection on x-axis or horizontal line and reflection on y-axis or vertical line. In this video, I'll show the reflection on slant line. If it goes like that, it's y equal to x the way I have drawn it. And if it runs like this, then it's y equal to minus x. The generic equation of this line, slant lines over here is y equal to plus minus mx. This inclined or line with slope, it has positive gradient one over here. Uh, if it runs like this, left to right, it increasing. If it's decreasing from left to right, its gradient is negative one, okay? So its generic equation is this. Now, first, I'll, I'll show you what happens if the reflection on y equal to x happen. This is y equal to x, and the object I have, the object, the coordinates of the objects are a, it's 1, 2, b, minus 1, 2, c, 1, 5. Okay, you can see that coordinates of the objects. Now, what about the coordinates of the image? Okay, a prime, a prime becomes 2, 1, b prime becomes 2, minus 1, and c prime becomes 5, 1. So if we have the formula, if we want the formula, if we have the coordinates of the object a and b, if you inspect and uh, look closely to the uh, behavior of the coordinates of object and its image, uh, corresponding points is see that x coordinates becomes the y coordinates over here and y coordinates becomes the x coordinates over here so the formula we can derive is if you have a and b then we have b and a that's the formula when any object reflect on y axis the coordinates of the formula what about the transformation matrix okay transformation matrix would be 0, 1, 1, 0. If you remember, matrix, transformation matrix times object equal to image. If we multiply that 0, 1, 1, 0 with this uh, transformation matrix, the object coordinates are 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 1, 5. Then the image becomes, when you multiply this with this, so this and this 2, 2, 5, and it becomes 1, minus 1, 1. You look at that 2, 1, 2, minus 1, 5, 1. So that's when we have multi uh, multiply transformation matrix with the object, we get this image. What happens if we reflect any object on y equal to minus x? Okay, y equal to minus x running like that. And you can see that like the one before, y equal to x, the value of x and y are same, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, like that. And over here, the x and y have the same values, but with opposite sign. So if x is 1, y is going to be 1, but with minus sign. If x is minus 1, then y going to be plus 1, okay, opposite sign. Now, object over here are, I kept the same object, coordinates of the uh, points are same. So a... 1, 2, B, minus 1, 2, and coordinates of C are 1, 5. And when we reflected that on Y equal to minus X, look at this. A prime becomes minus 2, minus 1. A prime becomes minus 2, minus 1. That's image, coordinates of the image. B prime becomes minus 2, plus 1, minus 2, plus 1, C prime becomes minus 5, minus 1, minus 5, minus 1. If we look at the formula, observe the coordinates of the two object and image, and you can see if the object have coordinates A and B, when we have the reflection on Y equal to minus X, it becomes, see that, X becomes Y coordinates with different sign, opposite sign, 
y coordinates becomes x coordinates with different signs. So we can say minus b minus a. Okay, that's the formula if any object reflected on y equal to minus x. What about the transformation matrix? Transformation matrix would be 0 minus 1 minus 1 0. Just let's check this one again matrix times object equal to image. Okay, and over here 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 and the object are 1 2 minus 1 2 1 5. Then when we multiply, we got see the first row this is gonna be zero so it's going to be minus two minus two then minus five and this is going to be minus one minus minus plus one and this is going to be minus one okay if you check that minus two minus one minus two plus one and minus five minus one that's whenever you multiply the uh, object with the um, transformation matrix you can get the image okay now a uh, couple of things I hope you understand this one thing is all the transformation we cover on x-axis or on y-axis parallel to x-axis parallel to y-axis or any slant line y equal to x the object and image are congruent okay their shape and size are the same or they have isometric isometric transformation okay transformation it's its area remains same okay after the transformation all right you can check that if this is the object and if this is the well the color is wrong so see the object and image if you put them one on the top of another see they are coincide okay they are the same and second thing uh, second thing is over here look at this they are actually if you look at this they are facing to the opposite direction they are not facing same direction that's going to be another type of transformation they are facing opposite direction or whenever we have on reflected on y equal to minus x if we have reflected on let's say y equal to x see that all the objects and images they have facing to the opposite direction even when we have reflected on y-axis or x-axis look at this x-axis this is reflected on y-axis uh, this is like that and this is like this okay facing on the opposite direction or if it's reflected on x-axis see that it's facing opposite direction so this is another properties of the transformation okay facing facing opposite direction okay and the third one third one is if you look closely uh, I'll just cover this one and concentrate on reflected on y-axis see that the distance between them okay from the line of reflection the a coordinates have distance two units and these two units actually run along the grid line see that grid line over here it's perpendicular on the line of reflection and it runs along the side of the grid okay it's happened same over here see this is the line of reflection y uh, y equal to zero or x-axis so when we have this it runs along the side of the grid okay the perpendicular distance run along the sides of the grids and when we have transformation on slant line look at this it's perpendicular the distance is perpendicular from the point and its corresponding points it's perpendicular but it doesn't run along the sides of the grid see this is the grid it runs diagonally okay diagonally of the grid okay so the perpendicular distance you can say perpendicular distance distance run diagonally diagon diagonally of the grid box okay grid box these are the few things you need to know and the old stuff some of the things are worth repeating once or twice or maybe more because this carries mark you need to memorize that uh, if they say it's describe describe the single transformation then type of transformation would be 
reflection and if you find out that transformation is a reflection then you need to exp and you need to write down the line of reflection that may be y equal to x or y equal to minus x or any equation in the form of y equal to plus minus mx where m is positive or negative gradient okay that was all from transformation and next video i'm going to talk to you about rotation thank you have a good day